What's up, Ohan Exotics? Welcome back to another episode. Today's episode, as you guys saw in the title, is how to assist feed an arboreal viper. But before we start with the how to, let me explain to you guys the why. Right, so this individual has been with me since the day she was born. She's not eating good. She's not taking pinks on her own. She has been taking pinky pots via assist fed. So we're going to continue on with that until we can get her on to establish pinkies. Now, what you guys want to take into consideration before you assist feeding, right? It's very stressful. So if you can really get that animal to eat via tease feeding and via an extreme amount of patience, you should really do that first before you assist feed. Assist feeding and then of course force feeding should be an absolute, absolute last resort. All right, well without further ado, what we're gonna do first now is we're gonna see if she actually will take a pinky port by herself. Um, I do this with every single arboreal that I have that's a neonate. Before I resort to cutting up a pinky or assist feeding, I first see if they wanna take a pinky hole. Obviously you guys can see this pinky is way too big for this individual to take hold, so we're going to cut it. What I like to do for um, younger arboreals, ooh, graphic, graphic, gross. Sorry for all the sensitive viewers. This is a necessary part of um, keeping arboreals, though, is the whole cutting up of pinky pots, which is really, really gross. But yeah, all right, let me just cut this nonsense off. All right, so what I'm gonna first do is I'm gonna tease feed the snake. And then we'll see if she actually strikes and hold on by herself. If we can get that right, then it will no longer be necessary to resort to tease feed, or to assist feeding. Alright, now by the looks of it, I can already see this is going on the same trend it does where I tease feed for half an hour and there's no response. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take her out of the ring, a little tubby key, very, very gently, place her down on the top, on the on the wooden surface and then we go straight into it right okay so a few tools you guys might need before doing this is a sponge a lifesaver I'm gonna show you guys why now and then uh, if you guys want to you can actually if you check it here with the camera you guys can actually resort to doing this something like this I don't like doing that I just generally use my fingers to sponge them and then alright here's the tricky part so what you want to do is you want to force the mouth open the best way I find that doing this is coming in from the actual side I hope you guys got a clear view of that and as soon as you see them bite and hold you just simply let go and then you give them chance to take that down now that's assist feeding guys it's not force feeding where you force that meal straight down their gutted it's simply where you get them to latch onto the food and then take it down themselves uh, we're gonna put you guys on a tripod and then we're gonna do a little time lapse of this and then See if we can get her to take at least two, three pinky pots now. So yeah, let's just jump right into that time lapse. All right, guys. Well. That first attempt didn't go well. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna offer her that same pinky pot again via the same method, except this time we're going to be trying to put that pinky pot in a little bit deeper than we did with the previous attempt. All right, so there we have her now. Hope you guys can see. All right, here we go. So we're going to do the exact same thing we did the previous time, go in from the sides, get her to bite onto that and then as soon as we have her biting we're going to just press it down a bit deeper than we did with the previous time. Still not forcing it all the way down her gullet but just putting it a bit deeper so she doesn't spit it out as easily which tends to make the world of difference. Alright, and I think that should be good. Alright, now we just have to wait for it to chow that down again.
Pinky pot's done and done. I'm gonna give her another pot. This time we're gonna make that pot just a bit bigger. We're gonna give her a pinky head. Now remember, it's very important to not overload their systems, right? You gotta give them just enough that they can get the needed nutrition, but not overload the system. Very, very important there, guys. All right, so we're gonna just do the same we did now with the previous pot. Get the pinky head in there. I'm having a hard time with this piece. Might be too big. We'll see. We'll see. All right, she's chomping it. She's chomping it. All right, so now, again, we just wait. <laughs> she spits it out. We're going to go to a smaller piece, but I'm thinking we should be fine. I guess you're back. So I'm gonna call it. Uh, I don't think she's gonna eat another pot. I'm not gonna even try a smaller pot. I don't want to stress her out too much because she is very fragile. But as you guys can see there, oh come on camera. Oh, as you guys can see there, there's quite a sizable lump in there. So yeah, she should be fine. And then yeah. Alright guys, thank you so very much for watching this video, I do appreciate it every single time you guys watch your video, like on the video, comment on the video, I reply to all comments and everything, I know the following base is big so it's easy, but yeah, in any case guys, I hope you found the video educational, if you guys have any more questions in regards to how to do it, or if you're unsure when to do it, feel free to drop me a comment, um, if you can't get me on any of the comment feeds, you can check my Instagram at Ohana Exotics, you can drop me a DM there, and I'm more than happy to advise you guys there as well. In any case, guys, do me a favor, like and subscribe this video. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe right over here, man. Join the family. And from Modern Exotics, I say peace out.